I said, Dan, who do you trust, Bart, Dale, or Jesus? And he wrote an article saying, oh, gosh, of course I trust Jesus. And I said, well, I'm going to have to go with Dale, you know, I mean, uh, and the way we... So by you're the, taking Dale over Jesus. And let me tell you what. Okay. In Jesus scholarship, since Albert Schweitzer, the best way to understand Jesus, an apocalyptic now, prophet... Now, was he part of the Jesus seminar? No, no. Oh, okay. He has problems with it, I think. Okay. But, uh, and they're a little bit out in left field. Okay. Some yes. So anyway... Um, the best way to understand Jesus, apocalyptic prophet, thought the world was going to end. He was coming soon. Uh, he was going to right the wrong, throw out the Romans. The uh, rich would be poor, and the poor would be rich, like the uh, Lazarus thing. Everything was going to be turned upside down, and it didn't happen. Now, Dale Allison says Jesus was wrong. Wow. So, wow, you're a Christian. You say he was wrong. Man, and you're the scholar. I'm not. I've got to really trust what you're saying. Now, there's another group, uh, John Dominic Crossan, who believes Jesus was a cynic. Not someone that's cynical about things, but lives off the lay of the land. There's a story of a guy, uh, one of the cynics was having a cup of water with his bowl, and he goes, and sees a kid who has no bowl. And he goes, you know, I got too many possessions. Get rid of that. I mean, these preachers today, <laughs> could you see them doing that? But anyway, that so nice. was he a cynic, according to John? Was he a social reformer, like Marcus Bork says? So when I was a Christian at, you know, 40, 27, whatever, I didn't have to address these questions. Right. Now I have the gnosis and I know what the scholarship says. So I've got to tease it out and say, is he a cynic? Is he a social reformer? You know, is he a apocalyptic prophet? Which when we had Bart Ehrman on said, me and Dale Allison came to the same conclusion in different ways. So he's just an apocalyptic Preached prophet that we had a bad weekend in that was wrong. Yeah, yeah, and got killed. Rose from the dead, maybe. Um, Dale Allison, see, that's why we love him. Is he goes, he might have been the body might have been stolen because grave robbers was a fact that did happen. Now you could know what John Dominic Crossan said, right? Well, I don't know. I'm just imagining Roman guards would not have let grave robbers come and steal the body. That's that wouldn't well, have happened. Yeah, but that's obviously Matthew's. Um, uh, it's legendary true. embellishment. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, he says he was probably just after he's crucified, thrown in a common grave and eaten by dogs. And that's what Bart Ehrman believes now. That it, there was no burial. There, there was, was no burial. No, that's why all. we have no body. Yeah. Well, and I, then, but I, I got to look at the other side. So yeah. uh, the guy out of Houston Baptist, um, Evans or something, I forgot his name. But anyway, he, that's the Christian side says, well, wait a minute. How would they steal the body? The grave robbers, he, he was buried like, what, Saturday morning or what? Or no, Friday no, night. Fri yeah. Uh, yeah, and so, no, by, before before nightfall. Yeah, because yeah, of the Jewish nightfall. thing. Yeah. And he arose like Sunday or whatever. So there's not enough time probably. I think mean, anything could happen, but most likely he wasn't, the body wasn't stolen by grave robbers and he gave other evidence. So, and what would you, they didn't steal the body. Grave robbers didn't care about the body. Yeah, exactly. They cared they, about the possessions. Right. Grave robbery yeah, is about the, the, the jewelry and the things. It's not about bodies. It's so like, when I look at the Christian side, I go, well, I'm going to have to doubt you, Dale Allison. I mean, right. the great Dale right. Allison. Yeah. So uh -huh. we're just lay people trying to figure this thing out, right? Wow. It's, uh, it's tough for me because I go, it seems to me like you got so much information on one side that would make you go, listen, even if Dale was right, I got plenty over here to make me go, I'm going to trust what God says over here. Mm -hmm. You know, you got a logical argument of you do know things, yet you're choosing to live in a world that says I don't know anything. Mm -hmm. And yet you're trying to learn truth mm -hmm. in a world that says you don't know anything. So the absurdity of all that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, existentially, it's very challenging, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 